Okay, the next section of this lecture is going to be short and sharp because I want to get the idea across and then stop so that you have an opportunity to go practice it before we go on to the next one. So I just want to introduce this one very small sort of um, discrete item, and that is the dermatomes. Uh, as always, you can download the PowerPoint from paramedicine.com, and these are the terms under which you can use it. So let's talk about how to do a neuroassessment. Our, our fundamental question is, is your brain okay? So the brain connects to the spine, and the spine produces nerves or has nerves exiting it, which do one of two things. Either they sense uh, us feeling or uh, sense us touching them by sense of feel, or they cause the motors to move. They're efferent or afferent nerves. So if we want to test to see if somebody's brain is working, we want to know if they can feel us touching them through all the different spot, uh, nerves that exit the spine. And we want to know if they can move using all of the different nerves that exit the spine. So here you can see an idea of how the spines come out of the nerve and they innervate the rest of our body to make our body either sense or move. So they come out, they go into sensory organs. The question we're gonna be asking here is, can the patient feel us touching them? And we don't wanna have it at just one discrete point. We wanna have it at all the nerves that go out through the body. So these are what are called the dermatomes. The sense, uh, derm meaning skin and the tones, so the areas of the, of the body that we can touch. If you take a look, you can see we start off with C2, there's no C1. So C2 to C6, and then T1 down to T12, and then we've got uh, L1 to L5 and S1 to S5. So cervical, thoracic, lumbar, and sacral. Those are the different nerves that come out for the uh, sense of touch. So when we touch someone, we don't just kind of, can you feel it? You know, we do this in a specific sort of way. We're gonna stroke them with a very light touch. What I like to use, uh, you can use your fingers if you want. Um, I find it a bit more uh, concrete if, you know, those super shears that we have, keep them closed. There's usually a dull little bit on the end and I touch patients with that. We're going to stroke bilaterally down the body, one side and then the other side. And it can be done like over clothes, but it's better if you're not. If you're in Canada or, you know, northern uh, United States or somewhere Nordic and cold and they've got their parkas on, then you're going to have to strip them down a little bit in the back of the ambulance or somewhere where it's warm in order to do this test. You can't do it over winter clothing. Ideally, you'll do it over their skin, but we balance that with, you know, the patient's sense of propriety. We're not going to strip somebody naked in the back of their ambulance just so we can stroke along their body. You know, do it in perspective. So, um, you can actually do this on somebody who's lying on your stretcher as well. So once you've got them in the back of the ambulance, you want to do a bit more of a neuro, or if they're lying on the bed or collapsed or something, you want to do a bit more of a neuro exam, you can do that uh, wherever it's convenient. So here's the instructions that I usually give to a patient. I say something like, what I'd like to do is I'd like to touch you on various parts of your body, just make sure your nerves are okay. So I'm going to very lightly stroke the tip or your skin with the tip of my scissors. They're closed so they won't cut. And what I want from you is this. I want you to tell me if as I'm touching you, does something feel numb or weird? Or is there any areas where I'm touching you that you can't feel me touching you at all? Okay, so ideally, I'll just stroke along and you'll say that feels normal. Um, but if it doesn't feel normal in some way, or if it feels different from one side to the other, then just let me know, okay? Is that all right with you if I do that? Let's usually say yes. <clears throat> We've got our informed consent. So these are the different dermatomes that we want to test. So we'll do them in order. We will test first the cervical, the thoracic, the lumbar, and then the sacral. This is actually really easy to do. Again, like the cranial nerves, you just have to memorize the pattern. And once you've memorized the pattern, then you can always go back and take a look at the specific dermatomes of where they are. And to be honest, uh, you don't have to be too specific. If we're working in emergency medicine and you say, they seem to have some you know, weakness or paresthesia or absence of sensation from around T3 to T7, that's good enough. That's good enough to get the, like, honestly, that's all the eMERGE docs will probably care about too. And then the neurologists will come in and do something more specific. We're just trying to look in a gross sense if there are any deficits in the dermatomes. And ballpark is good enough. So here's how you do it. We're going to test the um, cervical dermatomes, two to five, 
and those are done sort of at the top of the body and then six, seven, and eight are done on the hands. So here's how you do it. These are the stroke lines. You're gonna take your scissors or if you want, use your hand and start sort of above the ear, come down the side of the body and then across the elbow. So like this on each side and ask them, how does that feel? Can you feel me doing that? Does it feel abnormal at all? A light stroke, we're not pressing really hard, just can they feel it or not? That's all. That's uh, C2 to five. And then C6 is the thumbs. So we grab the thumb and say, can you feel me touching your thumb? Yes. C7 are the next two fingers. Can you feel me touching those fingers? Can you feel me touching these fingers? Yes. I'll touch the other side of the hand. I'll stroke it with your um, <clears throat> shears or touch with your fingers. Can you feel that? Can you feel that? Yes. If they can feel all of that and it doesn't feel weird, then that's normal. They've passed that first cervical exam. So <clears throat> C6, 7, and 8 are there along the fingers. Next, we're going to do th the thoracic dermatomes. And again, a very simple stroke. And we just go from above the clavicles down the body to roughly around, you know, where the belt line is, below the hips. So just stroke down one side, down the other side. Now, obviously, with women who have breasts, we're going to get in the way. We don't want to stroke over the breast. So if you're doing this on a woman, you'll come down and you'll go around the side, around the breast tissue, and then just back down normally uh, down the body. And if they can feel you touching both sides and it's all normal, then the thoracic dermatomes are intact. And that's great. Next are lumbar, and lumbar we do from, you just do a little bit of overlap. So go above where you stopped for the thoracic, <clears throat> and you're going to trace down the front of their thigh, and when you get down to the knee, down to the patella, just kind of go around the side a little bit to the calf, so that you're getting lateral calf around midway between the knee and the ankle. Down the front of the thigh, hit the patella, take a detour, go to the outside of the leg and go around halfway down the calf. Go slowly, ask them if they feel it, ask them if it feels normal. And if it is normal, then that's great. If they say, I feel a little, I can't quite feel you touching when you're doing it on my right leg or my left leg or something like that, then we record that. And, uh, you know, your report to the eMERGE could be something like, they've got some uh, diminished dermatome sensation in the right lumbar region. Good enough, chart it, that's for them to follow up on. And then sacral is really easy. Sacral is either across the back of the upper leg, so across the hamstrings. Now, if they're lying down on your stretcher, this might be difficult. So get them to bend their knees a little bit, uh, lift their knees up off the bed, and just stroke a bot across the back of their calves. You can do either the back of the legs or the back of the calves, doesn't matter. There's some other nerves um, in sacral, S3 to S5, and those are perianal, and we don't test those. That's something they can do in the hospital later, but we don't go playing with people's bums because it's not terribly diagnostic. It's down at the bottom of the spine. It really doesn't mean a lot to us, and obviously it's a pretty big violation of the patient. So uh, we leave those ones alone, and that's it. That's it. Four simple stroke tests, including C6, C7, and 8, touching the fingers. If the patient can feel you touching them, if it feels normal to them, and they don't have any absence of sensation anywhere, they've passed their dermatome test. Nice and easy. Questions? Leave them in the comments.